Oh, uh, hi friends, welcome to a new video. And right now it's getting very cold in Germany very fast. So when we train our dogs, we have to make sure that when we go on the training field, that the first thing we do is that we warm them up. So not like this with that heater. So how we warm up our dogs on the training field to prevent injuries, I'm gonna show you in the video today. All right, let's go. So why is it so important that we go in the cold winter time, for example, before we go on the training field or before we start actually training? Why is it so important to warm our dogs up? So there are a few reasons for that. So first of all, we make sure to prevent the dog from injuries. So we warm up the muscles, the tendons and the joints for the dog's ability to move. So when it's cold, the dogs are waiting in the car or in the boxes or in the kennels and we bring them out and we start working really hard, it, there's a high risk of being the dog injured and then you can't train and the dog is hurt. And that is something we wanna really avoid. So therefore it's important that you do a few exercises. It doesn't have to be exactly the exercises I will show you today, but it's very important that you make the dogs, for example, spin. So the muscles and the joints and all that stuff warms up a little bit and the dog gets to move before we actually really go on the training field and do some like exercise where the dog has to run or to jump. So therefore it's very important that we warm the dog up. And like I said, how that's, or how my way of warming up my dog is, I'm gonna show you in this video today. So here I have my dog. He just came out of the car and it's a little bit cold in the car. So the muscles and all that stuff is not already warmed up. So I'm just gonna start real easy, take a little bit of food in my hand and I'm just gonna start luring him a bit a little bit so that he moves in a circle just to make his back and all that stuff warm up a little bit very easy not too much movement no jumping no nothing so i'm just gonna make him a little bit turning left and right so that everything here the backhand and the back will warm up and gets a little bit used to the movement I also do sometimes I take for example two pieces of food one in each hand and then I'm just gonna let him walk through my legs it's also a little bit to warm up the back and the jaw and the muscles and all that stuff so just a little bit it's not really an exercise it's just for the dog to get used to the movement just to warm him up a little bit. So I do that a few times. So it's not really an exercise, just for the dog to warm up a little bit. So you could also do that with a ball, for example, the dog spinning, but some dogs like he, like he does, he gets too crazy about the ball and then he starts running and that's nothing i would do so now you see the dog wants to work Kip. he's giving me our other dog but that's not what we're gonna do so another thing i do is a little bit called like the elephant trick where the dog has to put his front paw up i'm just gonna start off with that just for the dog to put up the jaw the the front paws a little bit and then what i'm gonna do I teach him just to turn a little bit on that thing. So he learns to use and to warm up his backhand. Eva, come on. So let me warm up the backhand. So he warms that up a little bit. Out. One more time, do that in both directions. First we move this direction, and then we move the other direction. Just to get the dog used to that movement. And when it's not 100% stable, that's also not a problem. So the dog has to move his muscles a little bit more because it's a little bit unstable. But just make sure that it's not get dangerous for the dog so he won't hurt himself. So another method or another option you have is a pretty obvious one. 
so you just walk or you jog with your dog. So in all the other sports that you have, for example, if you play football or basketball, what do you do? The first thing you do, you go on the field and you just make sure that you start warming up yourself by running around the field. So the same thing we can do with our dogs. So no obedience, no nothing. We just take the dog and we just start walking a little bit without obedience. Dog will, will walk with us. Now we turn, you see the dog is now moving with us. It's not too fast. We don't do much position changes. So we just walk. And that's also an option. Come here. How we can warm up the dog. We do that for like two, three minutes just to make sure we warm the dog up a little bit. And also we warm ourselves up if it's cold in this time of the year. So another method and another option you have is the exercise, how I always call catching the fly, where the dog has to catch the food in the air, but try to make sure that the dog is already a little bit warmed up. So, because there's a lot of more movement. So this will basically look like this. Eva? So it's just a fun exercise and make sure that the dog is already a little bit warmed up. Do the other exercises first and then make sure that the dog is already a little bit warmed up to prevent some injuries. So the big question is, how do I know now that my dog is already a little bit warmed up? So that's a pretty good question, but I'm gonna show you how I always check if the dog is really a little bit warmed up. Eva? So the first thing you see is he's already a little bit exhausted. He's showing his tongue and he's, he's breathing very fast. And the next thing I do, I just check. I, Eva? Yeah. I touch between his legs, so basically under the shoulder. And if I feel, yes, that's warm and the breath is warm, I can say, yes, now I think my dog is already warmed up. And then I can say, yes, now I start my training with whatever I want to train today, sit down, stand, healing, the send away or whatever. So to prevent some injuries, always make sure that your dog is properly warmed up and now you have some possibilities how you can make that. And if you have any questions about that, I'm happy to answer your questions in the comments. And otherwise, I will link you some videos here, which you can also watch about my other training videos. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.